Yo, this is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And this is Homer Mac, AKA Killer DBA. In this video, I'm gonna show Homer how to create sync slices in Power BI. Stay tuned. Okay guys, all right, I got a guest in the cube today. Homer Mac, AKA Killer DBA. And today, Homer and I, you guys know Homer? Homer's like the rapping sequel guy. He's got these cool videos out. My favorite one is uh, migration plans. Cool, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Maybe we can get a link down in the comments below. Anyway, today, Homer's hanging out with me. Homer wanna know a little bit about Power BI. I, wanted, I told him, you know, we need about three or four days. He said, man, I only got about four hours. So today, I'm introducing to a concept that was released, uh, I think in February, the February release of the desktop. It's called Sync Slices. And so, we're gonna have a little conversation. I'm gonna build some Sync Slices out and Homer's gonna ask a few questions. You guys know how I like to do, right? The best way for me to show you is to what? Head over to my laptop. Now, let's kind of back up a little bit. Okay. So, when you open that selection pane for the first time, like I did when I first opened it up, and I select my slicer, not the selection pane. I keep choosing the selection pane. I miss the sync slicer, Man. right? When you open it up, you see these 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 two icons at the top. You mm -hmm. see the eyeball, mm -hmm. right? And you see the filter. I'm like, what is this about? What is this, what is this about? about? Right? So check it out. So it's for each page. So I have this one slicer mm -hmm. on page one. And basically, if I choose, check this box right here and go to page two, anything that's in page two it's going to be filtered by the slicer on page one. Ah, Makes gotcha. sense? Yeah. All right. So just to prove that I'm not getting you, I'm going to go ahead and select the date. So I'm choosing the date, right? We'll choose, okay. you know, January, January 27, 27, 27, 2014. Gotcha. Okay. We'll go over to page two. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens to page two. Bam. January 27, okay. 2014. Okay. So it syncs it, it syncs the across those pages, right? Gotcha. But what you can also do, if you take a peek at the... Um, the icons there. There's also the little eyeball. the eyeball. What do you think that does? That eyeball lets you see it. See it on the <laughs> other page. On the other page as exactly. well. Exactly. Homer's only been sitting with me for now a couple of minutes. He's always in, already an expert in Power BI, right? Or maybe the desktop is just that intuitive. That's uh, teaching that's, him. That's, it's yeah. like osmosis. It's just that's melding all. into his brain. All right. So let's go ahead and click that eyeball. <laughs> okay. So I click the eyeball and Where bam. It? Oh, it shows that slicer on the, other the page. Slice on the other page. And too. that slicer is synced up. So if we mm -hmm. go back to page one and I select 26, Mm -hmm. I go take a peek at that slicer. It changes to 26, 26. and the value's on the table. I'm always choosing the eyeball, but that's just me. If I do it, I'm going to always choose the I eyeball. I think you like to see stuff. I want to see stuff. You like to see stuff. Yeah. All right. Okay, cool. That's a good one, right? Okay. But what if, right? This is a real world scenario, something that I run into a lot. Okay. When I'm building data warehouses, on a fact table, there's always multiple dates. Mm. And sometimes I want to take one date mm -hmm. that I select on one page pass it to the, another date on another page, and pass it to another date on another page. This is real world <laughs> that I encounter. <laughs> Can, we that? Can we say that? Can we say that? And I might bleep you, but who knows, right? But this is a real world <laughs> that we were real, real, real life. <laughs> real world, this is a real world. <laughs> he didn't expect that. You don't know we're gonna go in the cube, right? All right, so let's go over to this guy, right? Let's clean up a little bit. And then, so now I have an order date page, a due date page, and a ship date page, and they each have their corresponding dates as slices on right. these pages, okay? Right. So mm -hmm. when I choose an order date, I yep. wanted to set my due date with the same date, mm -hmm. and I wanted to set my ship date with the same date. Okay. Makes sense? Mm -hmm. What I'm gonna do, also I should've did this before we set up the video, that's okay, I'm gonna go ahead and choose class, just so we can add a little more effect to the whole video here. And then I'm gonna go to my internet sales and choose sales amount, right? So now I have something that looks pretty on the page, right? Yeah. Kind of pretty, pretty like me, right? Okay, <laughs> and then I'm gonna go to ship date, and I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna choose size and choose sales amount, and then do the same thing, but this time we'll go that way with the bar charts, okay. got it? Okay. okay, so what I wanna do is whenever I select the order date, I want it to sync a slice, this order date, and I want to take that value, mm -hmm. pass it to that slicer, and pass it to that slicer. All right. Makes sense? It makes sense. Because I don't want people to have to go, what date did I select on that page? Because I want to use the same date for ship and do. Just let the slicer do the work for you. Just let the you. slicer do the walking, baby. Okay. Let the slicer, the slicer do, the do the walking. It's a snap. All right. It's going to go across page and page and page, all right? All right. It's a snap. <laughs> snap. <laughs> all right. 
<laughs> so I'm going to go here. Choose my slicer. Mm-hmm. This is where you really don't need to worry about. You don't worry about these guys, okay? Okay. It's more about this group in here. Because just like, remember we set up the color right. and the size? Mm-hmm. This is more about making all of them in one group together. So if I select, select a value in one mm-hmm. table, I mean one slicer, it passes to the other slices right. in that group. Mm-hmm. But I need to go across each one. And all I need to do is select it, pop it in that group, make sure it checks that box. Copy and paste to make sure it's the same. Just copy and paste, right? Remember, I'm not lazy. There you go. I'm just really efficient. Yeah, I wanted to be right. (laughs) Just really (laughs) efficient. Just wanted to be right. All right, so paste it there. And now I'm going to go back to order date. Let's choose like 26. Okay. Click 26, and we go to due date. And you see how it's running, and Mm -hmm. you see. 26 is selected there. Right. And if we go to ship date, you see 26 is selected there. Gotcha. So it just goes across all those pages, except one value, and mm-hmm. bam, and it works the other way, right? If I choose 27, mm-hmm. updates here. If there's a 27 in this table, there's each a 27. Page is updated accordingly. Each page is updated accordingly. As long and as you set it up right. As long as you set it up right, okay. right? Okay. What do you think? I think it's cool. I mean, you know, for any scenario, this would be needed. I'm not, I'm not sure why, but I'm sure there are cases where it is needed. And it looks like a cool, it, it definitely is, it definitely makes sense to uh, just slice it up. Slice it up, yeah. slice it up like a piece of pizza. Yeah. All right, guys, what do you think? What do you think, you know, homeless new knowledge of Power BI? Look, guys, I didn't know that Power BI was free until today. Oh so I'm gonna download it. And I have access to, you know, a lot of instances, SQL Server instances, and I'm guess I guess I can actually connect it to it some kind of way. Um, this stuff, right? So Homer's gonna use it to manage his SQL servers. There's some stuff out there. I know there's a few people in the community that's already built some stuff. You know, maybe Homer hit them up. Maybe Homer and I work together and develop some stuff out and do a presentation on that in the near future. But so if you guys have any comments, questions, criticisms, anything you wanna say, post it in the comments below. If this is your first time visiting the guy on the Cube channel, please be sure to subscribe. And as always, from Adam, Homer Mac, Killer DBA. Hey, I see a song in this. <laughs> I'm already writing the lyrics. And Patrick, <laughs> thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.